she was having an affair and having another guy over our house around our children, and she told me that one of the kids wasn't mine. Patricia danced her way into Corwin's heart more than 15 years ago when they met at a gentleman's club where she was an exotic dancer. They married, had four children, and life was golden. But somehow along the way, the gold lost its glow. Ask him about why he didn't make pictures to people at work of his wife. No. Did you tell one of your children that their mother abandoned them? No. He only wanted to take them to school before they panic. Of life. The music has stopped and the party's over. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Can I get out? Today, on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Patricia Hunt and Corwin Hunt. Mr. and Mrs. Hunt, you have been married for 14 years, but separated for the last 10. You have finally decided to call this thing a day. You have four children together, and you have economic issues that you would like me to resolve. Before we do that, however, I'm going to start with you, Mrs. Hunt. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Okay, Your Honor. Corn Hunt, he's not just a deadbeat dad of the year. He's not a deadbeat dad of the decade. He's a deadbeat dad of the century. Uh-uh, Your Honor. Hang on, hang on, Mr. Hunt. Mr. Hunt. No, Mr. Hunt, Mr. Hunt. Mr. Hunt. Oh, excuse me? There you go. <laughs> Mrs. Hunt, he don't, finish up. He don't call his children. He don't come to their birthdays. He don't do nothing for them. I have a list. You have a list? I have a list. Let me see the list. Okay, deadbeat dad checklist. Yes. Okay. You say he doesn't see the kids. Tell me about that. He don't come over. He don't try to call them. He don't say nothing to them. I even made it where I try to go take them to see him. He puts them out the, out the house. Mr. The Hunt, house. do you put your own kids out the house? She's a total, total pathological liar. No, I do. I know I don't put the kids out the house. She's doing nothing but telling the pack of lies. And if you ask me, I am the dead of the year. I'm the best dead of what I do, <laughs> regardless of what she says. Well, why don't you Nothing. tell me, now, but Mr. Hunt, how often do you see the children and under what circumstances? Well, I, I see the kids. I don't see them enough like I should because of the theatrics that she takes me to do and dealing with her is one of the, the worst pain in the world. Dealing, dealing doesn't see her. the kids. You ask see, you know what I mean? Ask him when he comes Cause, cause you came up so weak when I asked you. Ask him I know I don't see him like I should. That means you don't see I him. See, I ask him when the check my phone doesn't see the, the kids. Because kid. you proved that yourself. Doesn't talk to the kids. Why don't you explain to me that particular accusation? Okay. My daughter calls him and say hi to him. Or ask, ask their relative that he stay with, ask them. They talk to her, but then they ask, can they talk to their dad? He gets on the phone, he say two minutes. No, they ask, can they come over and visit for the weekend? The answer is no. Well, one of them was staying with me until, until uh, mean, recently. Was staying with me because she couldn't get them to school like she was supposed to. How many? One of them was staying with you for how long? Almost the whole school year so they could get, get to school until like the last month But you've been separated 10 years. Yes, we've been separated. So let's, okay, one of them stayed with you almost the whole school year, but do you talk to them regularly? Uh, no. <laughs> Mrs. Hunt, does he badmouth you to the kids? Yes. Tell me about that. Well, the last... And how does he manage that without talking to them? He, he, no, he talks to the one. He only talks to one. He got four. We have four together, but he only deal with one. What he do is he tell them that I do talk about him or I'm a bet. He calls me out of my name to them. And they comes back and they tell me. What well, the one comes to tell me. About you? He tells her that I abandoned her, which he has said that because another relative has said that on the phone while I was talking to her, communicating with my mm -hmm. daughter. Lying, Your Honor. And they told me that the reason why she was staying with him is because I abandoned her, and that ain't reason. Did you tell one of your children that their mother abandoned them? No, Your Honor, I what did, did not. What did you do? Well, wh what I did was one of my children called me because her situation for moving place to place and not keeping a stable environment and stability for the kids crying 
and say, can I come stay with you because my mother keeps moving from place to place and I'm tired. One of the kids called and told me that about her. <laughs> so you took that child. Yes, I did. So she could get to school and, and do the thing that, she, that needed to be done for her. Well, you didn't prove this one. So we're going to get rid of that. When the voice court continues, will Patricia's claim that Corwin is a deadbeat dad hold up to closer scrutiny? Mr. Hunt, when she didn't have any money and didn't have anywhere stable to take the kids, did you, did you fail to take them? Are you considering getting married but aren't quite sure your intended is the right one for you? I'll give you my opinion. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court returns with the case of Corwin Hunt, who claims, contrary to what his wife Patricia says, that he does in fact take care of their four children. But will Corwin get a lesson on what it really takes to raise children? Do you know children don't eat only when you can pay? They eat every day. Yes, I know. Well, the holiday, broke. we don't start off with Thanksgiving. He called me and said that he was going to pick the kids up for Thanksgiving, had them over for the holiday. I was shocked, so I get them ready. I call him early enough that day, because I knew, I just felt it that he wasn't going to do it. He turned around and said, no, didn't come pick them up, didn't call. When I finally called and said, okay, it's past the time of the dinner. Is y'all, you, you come to get them? No, I changed, I just changed my mind. M M Mr. Hunt, did you do that? Did I do that? You want the truth? Yeah. I would like it. Yeah. That I did, I did, typically, yeah. that's what yeah, a judge did, is looking I did, for. I did do that. I kind of changed my mind at the last minute. How are you going to change your mind on your children? Whatever you tell your children, you're going to see them and then just change your mind. How can you do that? Uh, because once again, this this dealing with, with you her. You got two check marks for that one. That was just tacky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well. Tell me about not paying child support. I get 80 She's lying, your honor. Stop. I get the last check. What they do is he instead of him going to try to pay on his own when he had, you know, extra money to help me out because I was in a situation where the income had lowered down mm -hmm. and stopped and I needed help. I asked him, I came to him as a person because I normally don't come to him, but I didn't have nobody else to go to. And I asked him, can he take one of the other kids to help me out to keep us from being out on the street or staying with other relatives? Mm -hmm. Carrying three kids with me around to everybody place to place, that was hard to do. I ran out of money, funds for to stay in the hotel because uh, you know hotels is like two two hundred dollars a week. I didn't have that, so I asked them, "Can the kids?" She don't use that much on. for the kids. Hang on. I asked them, "Can one of the children? I take two, and he take two. That would be easier on me to he take the other one to accommodate. He don't even want to take them to school for me, so he told me no." Mr. Hunt, when she didn't have any money and didn't have anywhere stable to take the kids, did you, did you fail to take them? Pack of lies. I took, I took the, the took one. one. No, it's not, no, it's not a fact. I, I did, I did take them. I did take them and kept, kept, kept them with me for like about a month, month and a half. But the thing I have is every time you turn around, she's not providing a stable environment for those kids. She's moving around. Well, in let, let, me ask you, let me ask you this. Why do you think she's moving around? What, what is the cause of the instability on her end. What's the cause of the instability? Yes. I, I would say for one, she, she doesn't uh, she doesn't manage her the little money that she do get right. She uh, Well let me ask you this. How much money do you provide for the care of those four children? Zero. I got evidence right here. Oh let me I did I pay child see. support when I came. Zero. Do you know children don't eat only when you can pay. They eat every day. Yes, I know. <laughs> Big no, does not pay child support. You know how much you are in arrears here? 
She's in an unstable environment because she doesn't have any money. She's not unstable because she wants to be. She was She's unstable. not moving around from place to place because she wants to. She doesn't have enough money to house and feed the four children she had with you. She you apparently doing, have a place to she stay, was, but she can't. She was doing that when we were together. It's been an ongoing no. problem. It, was, it wasn't just I that choose. way. When we were together, it was the same I thing. Choose. She was moving from place to place, and she was I doing choose. that way. First of all, we approved deadbeat dad. That, that has happened. That, 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 that your label, that label sits. When divorce court continues, did Patricia get hot and saucy with another man behind Corwin's back? Mrs. Hunt, well, you, did you take the man to work and then have a barbecue with another dude while he was trying to make money? She did. She would take me to work. And when she take me to work, she was having an affair and having another guy over over our house, around our children, having barbecues and all this stuff. While I'm at work, and as a matter of fact, she was going to even pick him up in my car and bring him over the house and have him around Ms. with kids. Mrs. Hunt, and stand she up. told me that one of the kids wasn't mine. Okay. Mrs. Hunt, were you, did you take the man to work and then have a barbecue with another dude while he was trying to make money? We were separated at that time. And that was the time that he, me and him had really, it was done. It was over with. We was in different houses. We weren't paying no bills. The bills exceeded over his timing. I was paying everything myself. So I figured if I keep paying everything by myself, I need to be by myself and go another way. Because he was acting like we was single anyway he goes off and no, leaves no, did, did you tell him that one of your children really wasn't his yes i did in the beginning I sure why did, did you do that did you believe that it could was a possibility because we had separated and we because she and had I, an affair more than one we time we separated because he used to leave. the reason why it's like this because he used to leave the house three four weeks at a time telling me he going over his mama house but he goes out he get his check on a friday i don't see him until sunday or i don't see him until the next month but, but if he goes away for three or four weeks, you have sex with somebody else? No, I, didn't, no, I stay home to myself. But then why did you question the paternity of this one child? She because, had an because after I found out he went out tricking money and was tricking with other females, I went out and did whatever I wanted to do. Now, how much sense does that make? It didn't make none. I was wrong. I can say that. Okay. <laughs> Mr. M Mr. Hunt, if she's not doing a job, why don't you come in like Superman and scoop these kitties up and, and, give them, and, and give them stability? Like I said, I've kept the kids from time to time. I, I've kept them. But what she does is so hard to deal with her. She tries to, tries to use them as, as, as uh, pawns and, and then something explain else. How, explain what she does, how she uses them as pawns or how she makes it so difficult for you to sin. Well, one of the things is like uh, she... Uh, bring him over to the house, and the next thing you know, we, 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 uh, she up there cussing, arguing, fighting at the house, coming over there, being disrespectful. She tells him I gay, I'm gay. She turned the kids against him. She talked Did you bad. tell him they were, he was gay? No, I mean, I, nothing that, wrong with being gay, but did you, did you, did you no. my daughter share told his me. sexual orientation, needs, desires, or wants with your kitties? No. Because they don't want to hear all that. No. The and reason that one of the kids see boys, Let me too. tell you, let me tell you. The reason why the kids think that or assume that 
because he's around men all the time, and every time you look up, he's downstairs or somewhere playing so video games with men. So you do believe that your children think that he might be gay? Yeah, they didn't mention that to me, but I told him to ask him himself. When divorce court continues, after four kids and a 10-year separation, Patricia isn't asking for much. Mrs. Hunt, you want for $208. Yeah, after 10 years, all you want is $208 from this man. Do you think that Patricia and Corwin waited 10 years to get a divorce because they still love each other? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. They'll also receive some valuable offers. Divorce Court returns with the case of Patricia and Corwin Hunt who have been married 14 years but separated 10 and finally are in divorce court to pull the plug on their union. If he want to talk about disrespect, he asked him about why he's giving naked pictures to people at work of his wife. Why he take the bedroom oh. at work to other people. Why don't you tell me about the naked pictures though? What you doing with that? The naked pictures, uh, well, as you know, when I met her, she was an exotic dancer. Right. Why would so, she give people so, the So uh, she had some pictures, and then she she knew that I was I was showing these these pictures around, but uh, you know I didn't I, I kind of stopped that one. But she was an exotic dancer. Now now when you were showing the pictures around, were you still dating and you going to your your buddies and saying, well, hey no, man, look married. what I got? No, we were, we were still we were still we, we were still dating. One man would show naked pictures married. of his wife to somebody. We were still dating. As a matter of fact, when she used to dance. I used to go with her, but it got to a point where I started to feel uncomfortable right. because I felt like yeah. it might be my divorce room, which was a bad, bad, bad mistake. You should have, you kept coming because oh, you and, think you messed around. And right around the time that we got married, a uh, family member and my wife got in a fist fight. What were they fighting about? The, 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 the fact that I was making the biggest mistake of my life. So this family member's uh, uh, response to that was to come in hooking and maybe like <laughs> knock her out before the ceremony so it would never happen. Well, if you, if you, if, if you want, if you want to, yes. All right. The family member knew I was making a, bi a big mistake that could possibly change my life for, okay. the, for the worse. So uh, after 10 years, why are we calling it a day now? Because you've been separated 10 years. What's it's just you're sick of it? He finally came to his senses. Because I've been asking for it for the, la for the longest. If either one of us really wanted to get a divorce before now. You could have done it. Right. So why don't we just right. get the facts, put the facts out there like that so right. she can't lie. Okay. All right. I got it. I want to get my name off of hers. I just. Yeah, I uh, got it. I got yeah, it. I yeah, got it. I it makes all the. The uh, only thing that you. I want. I want. That's out. the only I want thing out. that made sense I want out of anything out. you I ever want said. Out. out. Can I get out? Oh, 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 you you get now. Get Let me trust that. You're you going to get out. out. <laughs> uh, and it Ms. can't be screwed Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Mrs. Hunt, you want for $280. Yeah. After 10 years, all you want is $280 from this man. <laughs> what is it about this particular $280 that got you all the way here? Because he's supposed to help pay for birthday parties. I'm always paying for the Christmas gifts. I'm always paying for the birthday parties. I'm always saying, I decided since this year that he need to start taking responsibility on his kids. He don't even wish them happy birthday. He don't even know when they birthday. I, I, never, have call, I, never I have to call that, him and tell him when they birthday. to pay that. I never did. Let me ask you a question, just in general. Over the years, have you paid for any parties or birthdays, no. anything like that? Uh, <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Hunt, let me tell you something. You just as wrong as you can be. If your kids are out in a dissolute life with a woman who's not handling the business and they're going from hotel to hotel to place to place, there would be nothing that could stop me from scooping those children up and taking them home. But I if she's so bad for them, then you need to do your part. They're your children. You are responsible for their well-being. You're responsible for their emotional well-being. I'm not going to hear another word from you. Your economic well-being, and that is your responsibility. You can't just point over there and say, my kids aren't doing well because of her, and you haven't done anything for them. You can't do it. <laughs> you know, $280 for a birthday party. You ain't never given them one. You never do that. 
please. Y'all know when they buy That's things. all she asking for. She is most certainly going to get it. $280 in favor of Mrs. Hunt. It is so ordered. Yeah. All right. Parties may leave the courtroom. After leaving the divorce court, Patricia says Corwin has not called their children and continues to make promises he doesn't keep. Patricia hopes everyone will see Corwin.